building for overnight ghost tours. After that, people from all walks of life started to come face to face with spirits from the other side. Oh, haunted by the past. One of the most enduring ghost stories associated with the Mansfield Reformatory Centers on Warden Arthur L. Glock and his wife Helen. In 1950, Helen was getting ready for Sunday Mass when she went into a closet in the warden's quarters to retrieve a box from a high shelf. As she grabbed the box, she bumped a revolver that Arthur had hidden in the closet. The gun went off and wounded her. She was rushed to the hospital, but she died several days later of pneumonia while recovering from her injury. On February 10th, 1959, Arthur was looking in his office when he suffered a fatal heart attack. Almost immediately, rumors began to suggest that Ellen's death had not been an accident, but rather that Arthur had killed her and made it look like an accident. Further, it was said that Arthur's heart attack was the result of Helen's ghost exacting its revenge. It's a creepy story, but it can't be per it can't be proven. In fact, by all accounts, the couple truly loved each other. Perhaps that's why when people see the ghosts of the couple, they appear happy as they walk up and down the hallways of the warden's quarters, investigating the reformatory. While the Mansfield Reformatory had been featured on numerous television shows such as Scariest Places on Earth, it wasn't until the, the Atlantic Paranormal Society taps visited in 2005 for ghost hunters that people everywhere got a look at a paranormal investigation inside the prison walls. During that investigation, TAPS members heard strange footsteps echoing throughout the prison. They also managed to videotape unexplained lights at the far end of the hallway in solitary confinement. But the most intriguing part of the evening came when investigators Dustin Perry and Dave Tango were walking on the second floor of the East Cell Block. Sorry. The duo heard strange noises coming from one of the cells, but when they were unable to find the source of the sounds, they marked an X outside the cell so they could find it later. About an hour later, investigators Jason Hawes and Grant Wilson were in the same area when Hawes thought that he saw something moving inside the cell marked with an X. That is creepy. And Wilson believed he heard something there. However, upon investigation of the cell, it appeared to be empty. Doing time with the ghosts. You don't have to be on a reality TV show to experience the unknown at Mansfield Reformatory. Over the years, Paranormal Research Group, the Ghosts of Ohio, has spent several nights locked inside the prison. Each time, group members have witnessed strange phenomena, including hearing disembodied footsteps in the hallways, seeing shadowy figures moving in the cell blocks, having equipment malfunction, and experiencing feelings of heaviness while in solitary confinement. The Mansfield Reformatory offers tours, so you can see for yourself if anything supernatural is lurking there. But if you're not lucky enough to spot the Glodkies, fear not. Plenty of other ghosts are said to lurk inside the old prison. So if you dare, head to solitary confinement, where people report experiencing cold chills, being lightheaded, and being touched by unseen hands Ooh. while sitting in the cells, or walk either the east or west cell block, where you might just hear some ghostly footsteps behind you. 
mean, that is creepy. Some people have even had small rocks thrown at them from atop the cell blocks. So no matter where you go inside Mansfield Reformatory, keep in mind that you're never more than a stone's throw away from a ghost. Quite a pun there. Well, thank you so much for watching tonight's video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Good night, Moonies, and sweet dreams.